Hey guys, it's Josh Peterson with Peterson Electric. We're here today in Boulder, Colorado at a customer's house here. Um, the request was to actually put in more lighting and um, wanted to talk to you guys about trying to put in can lights. Some people call them pot lights, can lights. Um, they'll call them recess cans. Anyways, some ceilings, it seems fairly easy to get them in. I think this property is probably in the 50s. But the thing about this house is that there is no attic space and it's what we would call a Mexican ceiling or kind of like you'd have in New Mexico. It's a flat ceiling with a membrane and it drains to a gutter off. So there is no attic space and there's just about 18 inches of ceiling in there. The issue that we had, um, which can be real tricky, is they had layers of drywall built up. So originally it was lath and plast, which is going to be your wood and then your plaster. Somebody came in and put in another layer of drywall years ago, and then somebody came after them and put in some more drywall and blew some insulation. So by the time we went to cut these cans in, we had about seven to eight inches of material to try to hole saw through and cut. A um, little bit of a surprise on this one, normally we can hit the bids straight on with stuff like this, but without that attic ceiling, you're just not sure what we're getting into. Newer homes with two stories, not as bad because anything from the 80s and on you, you would be fine but sometimes even some of the homes in washington park in the 1930s or 1920s or 1910s those homes sometimes even have thinner than a two by six in there to support the joists and you can't really get a full seven inch can inside of there um, anyways guys thanks for joining us we'll see you next week